Hi guys and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are gonna discuss the problem to find whether two given nodes are on the same part of the tree or not. As it is evident from the title, the problem statement says that given a tree which is not necessarily a binary tree and a number of queries such that each query takes two nodes of the tree as parameters, we have to find whether those two nodes are on the same path from root to bottom or not. So to explain the problem statement a little bit further with an example, let's say we are given this graph and are asked whether the nodes 1 and 5 are on the same path or not, which is obviously yes, whether 2 and 6 are on the same path or not, which is obviously no, whether 2 and 3 are on the same path or not, which is no, and so on and so forth. It is evident that we need to do DFS as it searches from top to bottom along a straight path so now what we need to understand is what do we need to do in addition to dfs in order to solve the given problem so before i explain the solution we need to understand a few given a few prerequisite terms which are needed to understand the solution so the first term is in time which is defined as the time when we visit the node for the first time so we will start a timer of sorts and then we will time the time when we visited the node for the first time okay i'm saying time a lot which is uh, which will then be denoted as the in time of the node and the second term is the out time which is defined as the time when we visit the node again such that there are no children left so now that we are qualified to look at the solution let's have a crack at it so if we assume that two nodes are on the same path it must mean that either one of them is the parent and the other one is the child so here if we check whether the nodes u and v are on the same path so on the first in the first condition we'll check whether v is the parent of u and in the second condition we will check whether u is the parent of v and if either one of them turns out to be true it means that our assumption that u and v are on the same path is true so given two nodes how do we find whether one node is the parent of other or not so let's say in this graph we know that 2 is the parent of 5 you can notice that the in time for 2 is smaller than the in time for 5 and at the same time the out time for 2 is greater than the out time of 5 now this condition holds true for every single parent child relationship if i am given two nodes such that the in time for one is smaller than the other and at the same time its out time is greater than the other that means that the first node is the parent of the other node so now let's look at the two conditions which are discussed so here in the first condition we check if the in time of v is smaller than the in time of u and at the same time whether the in out time of v is greater than the out time of u it check that is it checks if v is the parent of u in the second condition we check if in time of u is smaller than the in time of v and out time of u is greater than the out time of v here we check if u is the parent of v if either of the two conditions returns true that means that the two nodes are in the same path now let's look at a pseudocode to calculate the in time and out time so first of all we start the timer and as soon as we reach the node we increment the timer and assign the in time of that node to that particular time and uh, then we perform normal dfs till here and then we increment the timer again and assign the out time of the node to that timer now let's look at the implementation of this pseudocode first we will uh, set the node as visited which is obviously the first step of dfs then we will increment the timer as soon as we have visited the node and set the time as the in time of the node then we'll perform normal dfs and increment the timer and set the new time as the out time of the node so this is how you implement the pseudocode so to solve the problem what we do is first of all we take in the graph and then run this modified dfs code in order to calculate the in time and out time for each uh, specific node and then we take in the queries and uh, 
uh, and check for the two conditions which we had discussed before so the query function is uh, the one which checks and uh, what we do is we check for the first condition over here and or its result with the second with the output of the second condition that's all so this is how the query function so now that we have looked at all the important functions which are the dfs function in order to calculate the in time and out time for each node and the query function in order to check whether the two nodes are in the same path or not let's look at the dry run of the code assume that we are given this graph so the first thing which we will do is run the modified dfs function on it so we'll increment the timer and give it the in time of one then perform dfs increment the timer give it uh, in time of two perform dfs then increment the timer give it in time of three as we are leaving and uh, all its children are already visited so we'll give it an out time of four then we will go to a next node give it an incremented timer give it in time of five then go to a next node increment a timer give it in time of six then as we are leaving and all these children are visited so we will give it an out time of seven then we will go to a next node give it in time of eight we are leaving and its uh, children are visited so nine and so on and so forth so we will keep on going give it 10 11 12 and then go like this so here 13 14 go down 15 16 17 and at the end 18 so this is how we assign in time and out time to every single node of the given graph so now we'll take in queries and check whether they are uh, the given two nodes in the queries are in the same path or not so first let's check for node 1 and 5 so the in time of 1 is smaller than the in time of 5 and its out time is greater than the out time of 5 so that means that 1 is the uh, 1 and 5 lie in the same path as 1 is the parent of 5 next let's check for 2 and 6 so since the in time of 2 is smaller than the in time of 5 but the out time of 2 is also smaller than the out time of 6 so that means that it doesn't satisfy the condition either one of the two conditions and so they are not they do not lie in the same path then the next let's check for 2 and 9 since the in time of 2 is smaller than the in time of 9 and the out time of 2 is greater than the out time of 9 so it satisfies the first condition and so that means that 2 is dependent of 9 and 2 and 9 lie in the same path so that's that for uh, dry run now let's look at the time complexity so the only two things which we did in the code was run the modified dfs and then uh, process the queries so as it takes o of n time for dfs and just o of one time for query as we are just checking for two conditions so the total time complexity will be o of n plus q where q are the number of queries so that's all uh, thank you for watching see you guys later